Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of matrices. And in this question, we have been told that alpha and beta are some real numbers. And we have been given a three call three matrix A, such that it's telling us A square is three A plus alpha I. And we have been told that if A raised to four is 21 A plus beta I, then we have been given values of alpha and beta and we need to find which of the options would be correct in that case. We have been given alpha 1, alpha is given to us as 4, then we have been given beta as 8 and beta as minus 8. So let's solve this entire question and understand which of the answer matches with the options given to us. So if I have a 3 cross 3 matrix A, so 3 cross 3 matrix means it will have 9 elements, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So 3 rows and 3 columns, that's your 3 cross 3 matrix. We have been told that A square is 3 into A plus alpha into I. Now, let's solve this entire equation and let's develop this entire equation to form A raised to 4 on the left hand side because we have been given an uh, equation in terms of A raised to 4. So what I will do is I will post multiply with A on both sides. So if I multiply throughout with A on both sides, what happens here is A square into A becomes A cube. This becomes 3 A square and alpha identity matrix multiplied with a 3 cross 3 matrix that is A becomes A only. So we get A here. So you have now a cube is 3 a square plus alpha a. I can further write this a square because I already have a square with me, right? So I can write a square has 3 a plus alpha a. So instead of a square, I, if I write this as 3 a plus alpha i plus alpha a. So now I can write this becomes 9 a plus 3 alpha i plus alpha a. So now what I can see here is both of this ideas have A with them. If I take out A common, I get 9 plus alpha A plus 3 alpha I, right? Now, this is our A cube. Now, to get A raised to 4 here, I'll again multiply all of this right-hand sides and left-hand sides with A here. So if I multiply with A here, let's understand what I get now. Now, I get it that becomes a raised to 4. This becomes 9 plus alpha a square and 3 alpha i into a. So identity matrix multiplied with the matrix a is a. So you get a here. You get 9 plus alpha a instead of a square. Now if I again write this, I know already a square is 3 a plus alpha i. So instead of a square, if I write that 3a plus alpha i plus 3 alpha a. So let's understand now what I get. 9 into 3, you get 27a plus 3 alpha a plus 9 alpha i. So you get 9 into 3a, 27a, 9 into alpha i, 9 alpha i. Alpha into 3a, 3 alpha a, and alpha into alpha alpha square plus 3 alpha. So 3 alpha a plus 3 alpha a becomes 6 alpha a. So you get 27a plus 6 alpha a. Plus here you get this as 9 alpha i plus alpha square. Now, again, okay, if I take out a common from this entire terms, I get 27 plus 6 alpha a plus here again if i take out i common from the entire list i get 9 alpha plus alpha square so now if i solve this further let's understand what i get i already know a raised to 4 is 21 a plus beta i a raised to 4 is 21 a plus 
beta i. If I compare this with this, I get this now. Let's see. So with a, I have here 27 plus 6 alpha. Here I have 21. So if I equate them, you get here 27 plus 6 alpha is equal to 21. So here it becomes 6 alpha is minus 6. Alpha becomes minus 1. Once you get alpha is equal to minus 1, I already have beta known now. So if I compare this, I also get beta. That is 9 alpha plus alpha square. So if I solve that, it gives me beta becomes 9 alpha plus alpha square. So 9 into minus 1 plus minus 1 square. Becomes minus 9 plus 1. That is minus 9. So you get here alpha is minus 1 and value for beta is minus 8. And if you see the options here that matches with the question is alpha is minus one, so alpha cannot be one or four. These two answers does not match here. Beta, we have got it as minus eight. So that's the correct answer. So correct option for the question which is given to us is the last option. D. So D is the right answer for the question which is asked. If you had any one of the options out of the other three as alpha minus one, then you would have multiple correct answers for this question. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions where you have to post multiply by a matrix A or pre multiply by matrix A to get whatever is asked for. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your family and friends who are also involved in the prep of JWE. Thank you.